What's up boys and girls, Coach Nick here. And this guy's asking, does sublingual administration of oral steroids cause less organ stress than straight up oral administration? And my answer is simply, yes, it will. However, skipping the first pass metabolism through sublingual administration will make some of the oral steroids less effective or they will be effective in a different way. So the reason for this, because when you go through the first pass metabolism, um, metabolites will be created and some of those metabolites from the first pass will be used in uh, the anabolism, activating the AR. And that's where we see uh, some quite a lot of our gains. If you actually look at the angiotensin receptor affinity for most oral steroids, they're dog shit. Like they're virtually non-existent. Their mechanism of action is through the metabolites. So putting that simply, you give yourself anadrol because it's what the comment is under. If you injected anadrol, you won't get as much bang for your buck as if you did it orally. And that's because anadrol gets broken down into something else. And that something else is what causes and promotes the uh, muscle growth, the androceptive activation. Now, I know some people like doing injectable orals and that's because they're essentially having a different drug injectable winstrol is different to uh, oral winstrol it's more akin to sublingual winstrol the only oral which this doesn't apply to is anavar when you do sublingual anavar you are essentially getting anavar into your body quicker and also having a little bit less organ stress. So that's the only oral where I recommend doing sublingual administration. If you've got Dianabol, if you've got Anadrol, Superdrol, Mtren for whatever fucking reason, uh, most basically all pro-hormones, Epistain, you know, all that kind of stuff. Don't do it sublingually. You're missing out on... <clears throat> you're missing out on the good shit when it comes to orals. Like... In my eyes, if you're going to take these things, you may as well try and get the most bang for your buck. And by doing sublingual orals, you're kind of missing out on that. That's my take on this anyway. I know some guys swear by uh, sublingual anadrol, for example, the same way they swear by injectable anadrol. And that's fine. I'm happy to be wrong on this. But they are different. Injectable or sublingual anadrol is different to oral anadrol. They are different drugs. So be, please bear that in mind. The effects may differ. If you know your body inside out when it comes to oral anadrol, don't expect the same results from sublingual or injectable. Um, you need to almost re-experiment and try and figure out how you react to it. That's my main point on this. The actual answer to this is yes, it is less stress. Caveats. That's it for now. Coach Nick out. Thanks for watching.